Johnny Hendricks is not yet going to get a, a third fight with Robbie Lawler. Instead, his next fight is going to come on the main card of UFC 192 against uh, Tyron Woodley, who is lobbying for a fight with Hendricks. Right now, Hendricks is minus 325. On the other side, Woodley plus 265. And we are going to talk with Nick Kalikas from MMAOddsBreaker.com and Mike James from MMA Odds Breaker Premium about possible betting value here. Mike James, let's start with you. Hendricks, obviously awesome, but, uh, you know, Woodley, uh, you know, has the tools to be a top fighter. He hasn't quite ever been able to put it together to get a marquee win, but it certainly feels like that's something he could do. And maybe a plus 265, it's worth a bet. What do you think? You know, I saw Woodley has been campaigning for this fight for a long time, and I just really did not understand it because I just don't think it's a very good matchup for him. Mm -hmm. I think the wrestling is going to neutralize each other out, and, and Hendricks is just better on the feet. He's more active striker you know Woodley's just more of like the one shot power guy he's you know very athletic very good you know defensive wrestling but I think Hendricks you know utilizes better combinations you know he has the leg kicks he has you know the big left hand though he hasn't really knocked anyone else since 2012 um, I think he's just going to really out volume over three rounds, you know, a little position and control against the fence. And plus that gas tank, you know, Woodley, you know, after the first round or two, you know, he's, you know, declined. He's not the same fighter anymore. Mm -hmm. I think you, uh, we're probably going to see Hendricks take a decision here. Nick Kalikas, you know, Woodley, I think, has a shot. The question is, how big of a shot does he have? Where'd you open this line? Open at minus 260 for Hendricks. Now, mm -hmm. this is another tough one, obviously, because both guys have so much respect. Um, and they're both wrestlers with knockout power as well so i thought it would be probably high enough to you know keep people off there but obviously not i mean people are coming in on hendrix that much more i personally don't have as much confidence in this matchup as as most of the people that have already betted obviously because i think that they can neutralize each other out now if this was a five round fight man it, it'd be different i would have had to set the line even higher obviously mm -hmm. because of what mike just mentioned with the cardio definitely the edge goes to hendrix and in this fight is it will as well but uh, you know woodley is going to be game he's going to come in he's going to be motivated they have that uh obviously that wrestling history in the past in college they wrestled and then there's a little bit of controversy in their matchup or whatever that hendrix ended up winning so woodley's got that uh to kind of fuel his fire and, and, you know, he's motivated, and a lot of people aren't expecting Woodley to come through in this spot, which is a difficult matchup for him. So it is tough, but don't count him out here. I mean, the wrestling will be neutralized, as we all just mentioned. And on the feet, even though Hendricks is – more aggressive, meaning that he's going to be a, a more consistent pace of throwing attacks. And he does have some brutal leg kicks as well. And of course, knockout power. Woodley has a speed advantage and mm -hmm. he does have a tremendous amount of power. Sure. Now it is going to be tough knocking Hendricks out. I mean, he take it, he took some shots from Robbie Lawler and was able to take it. He got rocked a little bit, but he's tough as nails, man. I mean, so much heart that even if he is rocked, I mean, it's still hard to get rid of. So it will be tough, but at this price, plus 265 ish, there's definitely some value on the underdog because across the board in a three rounder, even if it's a scorecard, it's just going to be competitive enough that the price is a little bit too inflated, in my opinion. That's what I'm thinking, but it sounds like that the uh, that the books are going to need Woodley and that the public is going to continue to come on Henry's Do you expect this line to uh, to go down by uh, by fight night? Now, it probably will come down because I'm mm -hmm. assuming that there will be some sharp action that agrees and comes mm -hmm. in on the dog price here. So we'll probably right. see a drastic drop at one point or another, another. And then if it gets to the point where a lot of people think it's too crazy low, then, I mean, we'll get some action back the yeah. other way as well. But there will be a spot where I think we do see Woodley get and betting getting back kind of heavy as well because of, of just stylistically how they do match up. I know, again, a lot of people are going to have question marks about, okay, round two and round three should be Hendricks all the way, but it's weird with Johnny Hendricks. I mean, at times – he looks like he slows down quite a bit in fights yeah. as well. Now, he will have the more consistent pace, but it's really strange. I, now, in my opinion, he's a type of fighter that can continue to have a good high pace even when he's tired. He just doesn't quit. He's got no give up in him. So that's what you like to see in a fighter, and he can go five rounds even if he's exhausted. Now, Woodley, I think, might have a little bit more quit in him. Now, it's not really fair to say because he hasn't shown us that, but at the same time, Hendricks has shown us that no matter what the situation is, he can survive long enough to hit the scorecards in grueling five-round battle. So that's why I guess the confidence edge goes a little bit more towards Hendricks in that regard. But in a three-round fight, Willie's going to be game. He's going to make it close. I think both of them are going to slow down as the fight goes a little bit. And again, he has a speed factor and he punches... I mean, like a truck as well, so why not? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm not saying it would be a big bet, but I think if I had to make a bet at the current odds, I would take a shot with a Woodley at plus 265. Nick Kalikas and Mike James, thanks so much.